Once you've created your exit portfolio, I'll show you how to add some of your files to it in this little tutorial. Again, go to exit portfolio. And right at this very beginning, what are you learning? Um, keep Just don't put anything in there. Add files or add a link and you just can drag your files in here. So this is where some of your assignments might go. Um, do I have any assignments? Probably not. This is an assignment that I've done. This is an assignment I've given you. And you can just keep, um, you can tell to add it to the exit portfolio. You can upload more files if you want to. Um, here's a picture that I'll upload. Notice that I chose more than one by holding down the control key and clicking. Add them to the portfolio. And they will appear in this long list. Now I have a long list. So, of course, I have uh, um, too many to look at, basically. That's, that I don't like this organization that they have. But um, I have the competencies here a little more. So the more files you put in here, the more you end up with. And you can do collections, which I have done to some extent, but it still seems to be a little um, messy. But anyways, this is, you add these before you can link them in the portfolio. That's why I'm taking the time to show you this. Add the files before you want to add them to the ePortfolio. Um, go back to your ePortfolio and find your own portfolio. We created this in the last video and see so I added three items. But this is what you're going to keep editing is finding this one. Content layout, home page, prescribed artifacts. If I want to add a component, now I should be able to find in this file, these are some of the things I just added. So I can add that, close it. Now when I view, it's it's here. Okay, I'll let that sink in. Now I would change the name of this with a little description. In fact, you're required to do that. So you'll have to go back and edit the page that that's on. It, it's it's tedious, I know, but just keep looking for these. So I went back, I opened this, and now I'm going to edit this. Sorry, guys. And it's not that this is a bad name. It's just that um, it's got the hyphens in it from the file name. I'm not sure that's the right course, but that's what we're going to do. You can also change the link if you want to. Um, you can add a description to it. The save button. Okay, so that's the name of the file. Here's the link to the file. I changed the name of that link. And the thing downloaded, and now it's going to open up. Okay, so got it. So that's basically how that works. You have to add your files first, and then you have to link to them. Uh, in some websites, you can do that simultaneously, not in D2L. So pictures you want to use of yourself or of the school, anything has to be uploaded first. All right, that's it for this one. It's pretty short.